Hey friends, welcome to the channel Health Tricks and Tips in English, the best pregnancy centric channel. In this video, we will talk about twins during pregnancy. Twins are basically classified under two broad categories fraternal twins and identical twins. So, let's talk about the fraternal twins first. When the egg from the female is fertilized by the sperm, the fertilized egg is known as zygote. But sometimes what happens that the female releases two eggs and these two separate eggs are fertilized by two separate sperm from the male. So here there is a formation of two zygote and so the dizygotic twins form in the womb. As the formation of these two zygote are from two different sperms and two different ovum, here we get two non-identical twins. Each of the embryo or the zygote implants in the womb as a separate entity. As the implantation is different, they would have different placenta, different amniotic sac and via the placenta and the umbilical cord, the babies in the womb get their food and oxygen and the blood supply. So these type of twins are known as the fraternal twins or technically as they are having the two separate placenta, they are also known as dichorionic. Whether these twins are male or female, this cannot be said, they can be either of them or they can be same as well. The appearance of fraternal twins is quite different, however in some of the cases, they may look same as well. Now let's talk about the identical twins. In identical twins, only one ovum is fertilized by one sperm and when this fertilized egg implants in the womb, the way it implants itself gives us the three categories of the identical twins. The number one category is there is a possibility that before implantation, the embryo splits itself into two embryos and these two embryos will implant in the womb differently and they will behave just like the fraternal twins that we have talked about. This type of identical twins will have have the separate placentas and separate inner sacs. So they are quite like the fraternal twins but as they have come from the same fertilized egg, the sex of these twins will be the same. They will either be two girls or the two boys. The number second category of the implantation type of identical twin will be that the embryo implants in the womb and after that it splits. So as the splitting is there only after the implantation, the placenta will be one. However, they will have their separate amniotic sacs. The third category of identical twin would be when the embryo implants in the womb to have one placenta but after some times later it splits and so there is only one placenta there and only one amniotic sac that is shared between the twins. So as this type of twins are having only the one placenta and the one amniotic sac that is they are monochorionic and as well as monoamniotic. So the short term given for this type of twins are momo twins. However, the twins that are sharing the placenta but they are having the different amniotic sacs are known as monochorionic twins. So friend, in case of the fraternal twins and the identical twins that are having the different placenta, there is very less risk because they are having their own placentas and the own amniotic sac. So they will get the proper food, proper supply of oxygen and blood from the mother. However, if the placenta is same or the amniotic sac is same, there is more chances that these types of twins needs to be probed often by the ultrasound sounds because they are having the high risk, high complications and most of the time when there is only one placenta and one amniotic sac as in the case of the identical twins, the chances of premature delivery increases. So if you want to know whether you are having the fraternal twins or the identical twins, there is one test that is known as diagnosis test. You can ask your gynecologist if you want to verify this. In some of the cases when the split is there after a few days of the implantation, the split is not proper and at that moment what we have is known as congenital joint twins in which some of their limbs or any of their organ is joined. So friend, this was all in this video. I hope you would be having some of your questions. You can definitely comment on the video. If you like this information, do not forget to hit the like button, which is very much important for me to know that you're liking my videos and my work. And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do not forget to subscribe it to get more of the essential pregnancy informations. Thank you very much friends for watching this video. Let's catch up in another video on pregnancy. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.